So the other day, I was watching this video from Greg Eisenberg, where he introduced a product called Gummy Search. I use a tool called Gummy Search, and it's free to sign up. They also have a paid plan. This is where the magic happens. What they do is I could go, they basically organize it into pain and anger, uh, hot discussions, top content, advice requests, solution requests. Now, Gummy Search uses Reddit to find product ideas based on pain points, opportunities, trends that show up across different subreddits. And in this video, I am going to replicate that complete workflow where we're going to look at multiple subreddits to find out good product ideas using a tool called Gumloop. Before we start building, let's quickly understand how Gummy Search actually works. As soon as you sign in, it gives you this option to create audiences. Audiences is basically the domain that you're interested in. It could be marketing, product management, software development, anything. So here, for example, I have created one for marketers. In this marketers audience, I have multiple subreddits. These subreddits discuss everything about marketing. And Gummy Search goes through all the posts that are being shared in these subreddits. And based on those posts, it figures out what are the hot discussions, top content, advice requests, solution requests. So all of these themes are evaluated and computed using large language models and some scoring based themes. So if you look at hot discussions, these are scoring based themes, hot discussions and top content. Hot discussions are those where you have a lot of comments, top content is something where you have a lot of upvotes. And then there are these AI based themes where they must be passing all of these posts to a large language model with a prompt. And you see this sort of a summary for solution requests, for money talk, news. So if you select solution requests, you get a summary of uh, all the solution requests that must have been shared across all those subreddits. If you want to browse all of those posts, it shows you this paywall. So they'll charge you somewhere about 30 US dollars to 60 US dollars per month to get this sort of content. All right, let's quickly draw what is happening in this workflow. So first of all, I would need to select my subreddit. So I will pass on the link or the name of the subreddit. From the subreddit, I'll have to scrape all the posts. So this scraping needs to be done. And from here, I need to capture the title of the thread, the URL and the content along with all the comments, etc. all those things. Once I have this detail, all of this data, I simply have to pass this to a large language model, GPT or Claude 3.5 Sonnet, any large language model of choice, along with a prompt that I want uh, to find out all the posts where people are sharing problems or solution requests or opportunities. And then I need to get a report out of it. So this is the workflow that we have to build. Now let's head over to Gumloop. All right, so Gumloop is this platform that will allow you to automate any workflows that you have using AI. And as soon as you sign in, you will see this hub at the top. Hub is where all of your workflows are going to get listed and they've provided a bunch of templates that you can use directly. So you can clone these and you can start using them as per your use cases. History is going to keep a track of all the runs that you've executed previously. And then we have the pricing section. So you get $1,000 free credits as soon as you sign up. And this will be good enough for you to follow this particular tutorial. And as per your requirements, you can select uh, the start plan or the pro plan. All right, let's go to hub. Here, we are starting off with a new flow. So click on new flow. As per our workflow, we need a Reddit scraper. Now, Gumloop offers different types of nodes. There will be a bunch of AI nodes, scraping nodes, basic flows, and then browser extensions. All these are different types of nodes that you can use to automate your workflow. Now here, I'm going to look for a Reddit scraper. So I will click on this and a Reddit scraper has been added to my canvas. You can zoom in and out of uh, this canvas uh, using your two fingers on your trackpad. So I have the Reddit node. If you see, I need to provide the subreddit name 
So enter the subreddit that you want to scrape for all the posts. Then what is the query? Enter a query to search on the Reddit for posts to scrape. So what type of posts you want to scrape, the most relevant type, etc. all those things. So if you leave this, it'll do it only by sort by functionality. So in sort by, you can pick hot, new, top, relevance. So relevance is going to be triggered if you have query in place. Otherwise, if you are picking hot, that means top comments. Okay, most number of comment, hot is trending, new is recent, and top is top posts in that particular subreddit. And you will be able to capture title, URL, content, and even post comments. So if you want post comments, that also is available from this Reddit scraper. So as soon as you add subreddit, so let's say I have chat GPT, this is the name of the chat GPT subreddit okay and if i run this so you can see that they'll start scraping this chat gpt subreddit okay there is no query this is optional okay post limit you can set it as per your use cases and if you look at the output here post comments these are all the comments these are all the urls of different posts that they have scraped this is the post title and all of these have been scraped using hotness. So hotness is the trending topics that we have at that point. So hot is trending, new is recent. You can select based on whatever you want. I will set it to top for now. The top posts, time period, you can select, let's say week, month. So I can say this month, what were the top posts in order to find out the trends. So this is my Reddit scraper, which is going to give me the post comment URL, titles, all of these. And you can see at the bottom, it shows you the type. So after scraping, you know that you are actually getting a list of titles. So if this is list of titles, similarly, you are getting a list of URLs. And then content and comments also are a list of text. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to combine all of this information before we pass it on to the large language model. All right, so we have the Reddit scraping capability now. Let's quickly add some text formatting. Now we understand that we would not need all of the content or all of the comments. So we are going to truncate the contents and the comments of each post to a minimum so that uh, our large language models are not getting fluff or a lot of text to process. So what we'll do is we will use some text formatting options here. So we have text formatting here and in this formatting, we are going to use the truncate functionality. Here you can see that I need to pass on the value and I need to specify the maximum number of tokens. So the number of tokens to truncate the text to so I would say that I want to truncate all the comments to just 100 tokens and I will connect the output from post comments and I'll pass it on to the text formatter. Similarly, I will add another text formatter for post contents. So here again, pass it here, use truncate. I'm going to choose 100 here as well. So this way I have now formatted the text for post contents and post comments. Further, as we all understand that these are all multiple lists that we have. So we have titles, we have URLs, then we have comments, contents. So these are all individual lists at this point. But what we want is we want to combine all of this together in a corpus and then pass it on to the large language model. In order to do that, we're going to use this combine text functionality. In this combine text functionality, if you see over here, I have input one, input two. If you want, we can add input as well. So here, all of these URLs, titles, contents, comments 
are going to get added. So first thing is, if I want to combine these, I will pass on the input one is going to be title. The input two is going to be the URL. Input three is going to be my formatted values over here. So just take the output from contents and then finally from comments as well. Within this combined text field, I need to specify the format. So the format to combine the input text use input one and input two as placeholders. So they have provided a placeholder text, how to define the format. What I want to do is I want to capture first the title where the title is going to be input one. So you can see that uh, from our workflow, I've passed the post titles as the input one. So you see each input here has a name input one, input two, input three, input four. So input one has got all the titles from this Reddit scraper. Then input two is URLs, three is contents, four is comments. So let's quickly go down here and specify the format in our combined text format. So I have title, which is input one. Then I have URL of the post, which is input two, simply drag and drop. Then I have uh, the content, content, which is going to be input three. And similarly, I have all the comments here, which is going to be input four. So now all of these lists are going to get turned into one single post in this format. I'll have the title of the post, URL, content, comments. So this is one single post and all of them would be combined together. So if you want to run just this much, you'll be able to visualize what it actually gives you. All right. So now you can see that each post over here has got title, URL, content, comments. So some subreddit posts do not have any content as in the description is not there. So we have only the title, but in some cases you will see the content here. So back before it had many memories, etc., all of these things. So this is the content and then further the comments. So now that we have all of our posts combined into one single text corpus, the next thing that we have to do is pass it on to the large language model. So if you look at the node library, they have this using AI type of node. Click on this and you'll have using AI. In this, we are going to simply use ask AI feature. So click on this and here you simply need to specify what you want from this text corpus and how it should process all of this information. So for this, I have already written a prompt. So specify the prompt. And in this prompt, the context contains posts from ChatGPT subreddit. Please generate a comprehensive report summarizing top posts, trends, all of those. So you can then specify all of these themes into your prompt and it'll generate a report which will capture every single thing that you see on Gummy Search as well. So that's it. The context here, if you look at the input of Ask AI node, you need to provide context. So context is our combined text corpus. So this is there and prompt is something that we have written. So we have specified this ourselves, but if you want the prompt also to come from somewhere else, that also is possible. Great. Now, the only thing that's left is show more options. So here, if you see, I have show more options, hide, show. So as you see, I can select which AI model I want to use. So I'm going to use, uh, let's say OpenAI O1. All right. So this is the model that I'm going to be using to extract all of this information. It's time to finally run our complete workflow. It's going to again scrape, format, combine the text, pass it on to our large language model, which is OpenAI O1, and will give us the complete report here itself. And there you go. We have the complete report here. So you can see introduction, this week's discussion on chat GPT subreddit. So summarized all the information, introduction, trends and common themes, proliferation of AI generated images. So the human internet is dying, AI images taking over Google. Then we have decline in content quality, 
So authenticity, trust issues, all of these things are combined here. I have further improved this prompt. So if you want, let's say hot topics, you want money talk opportunities, you want new self promotion, you can just simply add it in your ask AI prompt. All right, now that we have our main workflow running, it's time to make it more comprehensive. So we need to add more subreddits. We need to capture all the posts in a separate sheet or capture the complete report in a Google doc. We'll be able to do that with this final workflow that we have. So gummy search allows us to scrape through multiple subreddits in order to create these audiences. I have created a Google sheet in this, the first row here, this is going to work as my header. So I've captured the marketing audience here. And uh, from second row onwards, these are the name of my subreddit. Similarly, you can create one for sales, software development, so on and so forth. I have captured the link to this particular sheet and passed it on to Google Sheets reader node here. So Gumloop offers Google Sheets integration. So you can read, write, update, whatever you want. So these nodes are available. And I'm using the link integration. So I've passed on the link to my subreddits sheet and it'll capture all the subreddits from there, pass it on to Reddit Scraper. Reddit Scraper is going to scrape each of those subreddits one by one. And then we have text formatting in place. Now, after text formatting, before everything gets combined, I have passed all of this information directly to a separate Google Sheets which is going to capture all the Reddit posts along with the title, URL and content. So this sheet is going to look something like this. So I've created Reddit content sheet. It's going to capture title, URL and contents of the Reddit post. And you can see that since there are multiple subreddits involved in this particular scenario, I have list of list of text. So you can see I have list of list of text as output coming from the Reddit scraper. So essentially what is happening is when you have multiple subreddits to scrape, each one is going to give me this sort of combined output. But my large language model takes only one single text corpus. So these lists needs to be joined together. And that's why we are using this join list items list operation here, it'll take this list of text and return a text corpus, which is going to get passed to our ask AI node. And here you can see that I have specified every single thing. So trends, common themes, community insights and advice, actionable takeaways, pain points, self promotion. Similarly, you can define all the other themes as well. Finally, the result of this is going to get written into a Google doc. So I've created a Google doc, which is called product ideas here. And this is linked with my Gumloop workflow. I provided the subreddit sheet, run this workflow, flow started. Google sheets, reader success, red scraper has done the job. You can see the posts have already come in here. It has given us 230 subreddit posts. So it has given us 230 posts and look at the product ideas. I've got the marketing trends and common themes, AI and automation, affiliate marketing, social media effectiveness, community insights, AI implementation, social media optimization, pain points, self-promotion, all of these ideas. Now I will be able to capture here within my Google doc itself. You can further add any sort of uh, plug, any sort of automation. You can get it to send a message to Slack or send you an email with this complete report. You can do all sorts of integrations using Gumloop. All right. Hope that was useful. Now, no more guessing what customers want. You can use these Gumloop workflows to find proven problems. Also like the video, share it. Comment down below what else you would want me to replicate using Gumloop and I'll do that for you. I'll see you in the next one.